you lovely so i'm coming to y'all with the new my yale organics pomegranate and honey hairline so right here we have the curl smoothie and the curl smoothie wasn't too thick but it wasn't too thin either it was like right in the middle and then the leave-in conditioner was it was i would say it was more in the middle too as far as consistency it's like once you rubbed it in it just kind of melted you know it's just I don't know how to explain it. It was kind of light in a sense. And now we have the twisting souffle. And the twisting souffle, as you'll see, is a very thick consistency. And I think my hair will really like this once I use it. It's creamy and you can tell that it's going to be very moisturizing to your hair. Lastly, we have the curling custard and a curly custard is you know that gooey slime consistency as you'll see here I found this to be kind of light to medium it wasn't really I don't know how to explain it. It's like once you rubbed it in, it was pretty light. So I'm starting off on dry hair, but I'm actually going to wet it to get my hair strands wet. And y'all can see my hair is so dry. I also want to mention too that the night before I did this, I did do a full wash day. So my hair is indeed clean. <laughs> so I'm first going to start off by applying the leave-in conditioner. And how I feel about that, I actually really liked it. I feel like it really helped in detangling my hair and it was just smooth. It kind of melted a little bit into my hair and yeah, I feel like it kind of made my hair soft. I wasn't entirely blown away by it. So now I'm applying the curl smoothie because my hair is so dry so I want to get as much moisture as I can. And the curl smoothie is supposed to aid in just like boosting your hair moisture. You know, it's supposed to give like that extra boost of moisture. And so now I'm applying the curling custard just to help in defining my curls. And I mainly did the raking, I think that's what it's called, the raking method through my hair, through my strands. And so I kind of start off in big sections, but then like I went back and kind of like focus on smaller sections. And I was told by another YouTuber subscriber to not use too much of this product as it will cause flakes so i was very careful to not use a ton of that product on my strands even though it's kind of hard because i'm just like ah, i need a definition so after doing each section i just like to twist my roots up and then pin it with pin it down with the bobby pin and y'all see how dry my hair is <laughs> so anyway just i'm doing the same thing all throughout my hair just wetting it with water getting it as wet as i can so that the products penetrate well. And then I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner followed by the curl smoothie. And then I'm going to aid in defining my curls with the curling custard. These products remind me of a lotion or a scent that you pick up from Bath and Body Works. Just to give y'all an idea of what it smells like. I purchased these products from Sally Beauty online and I would encourage y'all if y'all are interested in trying this just to you know take advantage of the sales because I was like oh, I don't want to pay all this money so I definitely waited until like a coupon was available and I just used that to purchase these products these products are tailored towards type 4 natural hair but don't feel as if you have to be type 4 to use these products. If you want to try them, then give it a try. These products are supposed to help in giving your hair extra moisture, like intense hydration. And how I feel about it is my hair doesn't feel that moisturized or that hydrated, you know. And maybe I just need to give it some more time, but... Overall, I think the leave-in conditioner is decent and I think the curl smoothie is decent as well, but I wasn't blown away by it. 
and the curling custard is just all right to me it's not something that i see myself turning to when i want my curls to be defined it also did not leave any flakes in my hair nothing really drastic at least i mean i saw a little bit of particles <laughs> but other than that it was nothing like gooky in my hair so i really admire that i'll come back to y'all with how i feel later on but these are just my initial thoughts so you know take it with a grain of salt if you want <laughs> And I know some people have been a little bit like worried about how the product just kind of sits in your hair when you first see it, but it does dry down. And for me, it didn't leave like any white or crazy looking residue. So what you see at first is just, you know, the product just sitting in there, but it'll eventually dissipate into your hair strands and then it'll be just fine. So hopefully just be careful with the curling custard and I know it's hard to not be heavy handed, but just try to be careful with that. As you can see here, I did separate my curls. So I was just trying to separate to get my hair fuller. My hair wasn't fully dry, but it was mostly dry. And so this is it. So let me know what y'all think and have any of y'all tried these products at all? And if so, let me know what y'all think of them. Which product is your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Or do you love all of them? <laughs> all right, y'all. So I shall see y'all in another video. And take care. Bye.